it, where can I, how do I bridge between the current present that is highly constrained and that future in which I believe I will have all the available resources I have. And, and but you know what? It's really helped us to build stories this way and to um, align expectations this way because people are then not expecting that overnight you will reach the moon and overnight there'll be this magical machine where you click a button and it will tell you what the next big drug uh, you, 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 you need yeah. to develop is. That is sure. very dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that it gives you as, as an entrepreneur a, vi a vision which is like you could perceive it and you could tell the story about it. It's not enough that you could understand that it's achievable. You could tell others, this is the way I'm going to achieve it. And, and then it's more accessible and very, it's very important. And we found that if the vision is, is you know, has that emotional component, because it's not just about um, mitigating uh, the number of mistakes you make or, you know, just making better decisions. It's about people's quality of life. It's about mit mitigating disease. It's about increasing the yield of, of a farm. And it's about making livelihood of those farmers better. You will find that if your vision uh, is is really inspiring, you will find partners. You will find others who will want to come on board and take part in that vision. And I've seen many of our projects that we incubated in the program grow into partnerships or open innovation opportunities with academia, with startups, with other uh, organizations externally, because they might have a different approach or a different set of uh, skills, but the vision is where we, we, we have a common ground. And I think that's a very important um, reason to really well articulate your vision. And, and you'll find that you're not the only one with that same vision.